Erling Haaland scored two screamers on his debut against West Ham, and then a hat-trick against Crystal Palace, then another hat-trick against Nottingham Forest, and another one against Man United. He has now scored 17 goals in only 11 matches. But what's the real story behind this kid? Where the hell did he come from, and is he even human? To understand who Erling actually is, we have to go way back to his debut in his hometown of Bryn in Norway. Erling Haaland wasn't always the towering, strong, incredible specimen he is today. He first started playing football for fun with his mates, but soon enough, they moved him up a level because he was just way better than the other kids. But playing with the older kids meant that he was much smaller than the others, but this didn't stop him. Even at the time, Haaland's mental toughness was obvious to everyone. He may not have been the biggest on the field, but his great technique made him stand out from the rest. At only 11 years of age, he was already a goal-scoring machine. At the age of 15, he started playing for Bryn FC. Even though he was still physically weaker than the others, he was so good with his technique and understanding of the game that he scored an impressive 18 goals in 14 matches for Bryn's reserve side. It was only a matter of time before he got called up to the under-15 Norway national team. In a game against Sweden, he did something that shocked everyone and started arousing suspicions if the kid wasn't some sort of robot. Norway kicked off the game and right after the first kick, Haaland hit a long shot from the centre field right into Sweden's goal. But anyways, after a few seasons at Bryn, he transferred to Molde FK, where he got to train under Manchester United legend Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. This is where he officially started his professional career. It was here that Haaland had an unusual growth spurt. He grew tall and big, really, really fast, and it actually became a bit of a problem. So much so that his former coach, Paco, started to worry about Erling. But when I worked with Mold, I talked mostly to his assistant coach, as he had responsibility for the younger players. And they did a very good job with him, not least the medical and physio team, because he was growing very rapidly and he became very tall very quickly, which can bring a number of potential physical problems for a young footballer. They managed that really well. The whole staff at Mulder were fantastic for him, as he developed both as a player and physically, said Paco. His first season at Mulder was quite underwhelming as far as goals are concerned. He finished the season with only four goals. But the next season, Haaland unleashed his inner beast and sent shockwaves throughout the football world. And it was in a game against Bran Bergen that Haaland really started to make his mark in Norway. Bran was at the top of the league table at the time. They were the ones to beat. Ollie's Molder were definitely the underdogs, but that's exactly how Haaland liked it. Molder won the game by four goals to nil. Who were the goal scorers? Haaland, 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 and... You guessed it, Haaland. Yes, he scored all four goals in the game to give Mulder the victory. From that time onward, the Haaland snowball only got bigger and bigger. He moved to Red Bull Salzburg half a year later, and this is where he really started to make his mark internationally. It wasn't only his performances on the field that attracted Salzburg, but it was his dedication to improvement off the pitch that made him so, so special. He is an absolute top professional. While we are playing cards on trips away, you can only see him reading some scientific articles on how he can improve his sleep or diet. He is always looking for the smallest details that he can improve to take another step forward, said his teammate, Verba. He had a slow start at Salzburg, playing only five games in his first five months. But then came the Under-20 World Cup in Poland. It's at this same tournament that Haaland made history in one of the craziest games against Honduras, where his team ended up scoring 12 goals. Nine of them came from Haaland. Yes, he put the ball in the back of the net nine times. After his stellar performance at the Under-20 tournament, he became the first choice striker at Salzburg. And he definitely didn't disappoint. In his first four league games, he scored six times and ended the season with 28 goals in 22 games, making history in the process. He scored a hat-trick against Genk and then became the youngest ever teenager to score in his first five consecutive Champions League matches. He had officially become the new guy to watch in football. Forget Messi, forget Ronaldo, forget Neymar. It was all about Haaland from here on. And absolutely everyone wanted to sign the guy. It was an all-out war on who'd be getting Erling. Manchester United, Chelsea, Juventus and Dortmund were the main candidates. 
And Oli Gunnar, his former coach, even flew to Salzburg to convince Haaland to sign for United. Salzburg knew that his days at the club were numbered, but I'm sure they didn't mind swapping him for a fat bag. But finally, Haaland and his dad made a decision on where he'd go. Borussia Dortmund Moving to a big club is seductive to any young player, but for Haaland, going to a team where he could get a lot of playing time was absolutely crucial. A club with veteran superstars would be hard to break into, but Dortmund was perfect because it had many young and upcoming players, like Haaland. The team promised him that he would be the first choice striker, and with a $20 million release clause, Haaland was sold. And when Haaland got to Dortmund, he showed who he was in absolute style. Dortmund was going up against Augsburg. Haaland came on as a substitute, and in 20 minutes, he shocked the world by putting the ball in the back of the net three times. I came here to score goals. It's a good debut for me, he said after the game. What a way to start. And over the next two years, he did just that. After 89 games in the Bundesliga, he had scored 86 goals. For my math nerds, that's a 96.63% scoring rate. He had made his point. He was an absolute beast. And aside from scoring goals, Haaland continued working on his physicality and his speed. If his 15-year-old self could see him at this point, he probably wouldn't even recognize himself. It was only a matter of time before the biggest clubs in the world would come knocking again. And this time, Haaland was ready to take on the big stage. He had paid his dues, and it was time for him to get his big payday. And who else can deliver such a big payday if not for Manchester City? Life had come full circle. His father had played for Manchester City before ending his career, and now Haaland was here to continue his legacy. Manchester City paid over $60 million for him. Everyone in English football was excited to see what Haaland would bring to the table. Everyone except one man who prophesied doom and gloom for Haaland. Rory Jennings is a social media football pundit who's now famous for his harsh words about Haaland before he started playing for Man City. Rory said Haaland was going to be a total flop, that he wasn't ready for the English Premier League, and so on. But boy, did Haaland prove him wrong. Haaland had just arrived in the Premier League, and in his first three games, he had already set a new world record. He became the first player to score three consecutive hat-tricks in his first three home games. He also holds the record for the most Premier League goals scored in the first 10 games and is the first Man City player to score in their Premier League and Champions League debuts. Haaland has also scored the most Champions League goals in 20 games. It's safe to say Rory probably regrets opening his mouth. Erling Haaland is a very special player and while it may be too early to call him a legend, he is on his way to becoming one of, if not the, greatest players of all time. Looking at his humble beginnings as a small little kid to the player he is now, it's evident that natural talent, backed by extremely hard work, dedication and consistency, such as his idol Zlatan. If you want to know more about Haaland, check out this video on screen now. I can guarantee you didn't know the eighth fact on the list.